Namaskar. I'm going to talk about leadership. If I would hear the things that I'm going to say uh, 25 years ago, it would be really priceless for me. I used to go and ask everybody how to be a good leader, how to be a good leader. And then somehow people didn't have much clear idea to, to help me. So I think it is very important because today our society needs the proper leadership. Everything is in leadership. If a leadership is good, then all problems of the world can be solved in a very smooth and proper way. So production of leadership is the main necessity today in humanity. So let's talk of the qualities. What are the qualities that we can cultivate in ourselves to embody the ideals of leadership? Number one, I think this is the most important one, <coughs> is integrity. Integrity means honesty. You're honest. Your thoughts, your words, your actions, they coincide. My spiritual teacher, he speaks about the categories of people. He says that the first, the best, the most developed category of the people is, uh, are those whose thoughts, words and actions they coincide. And the worst situation is when thoughts, words and actions are always different and never coincide. So sincerity inspires trust. You can be a politician, you can be a diplomat, but after some time, slowly, slowly, we, people will realize what are your intentions. They will re realize, do you have integrity or not? And then they will decide whether to really trust you and to go after you through fire, through water, through mountains, through, through sky, through heavens, through hells, through, <laughs> through stars uh, or not. So this integrity is extremely, extremely important. And uh, through this integrity, we acquire a special sort of power. That is a spiritual power. It's the power of your spirit. Uh, when the mind becomes very much curved, becomes like this. When the mind has to invent its own version of the truth and bend itself according to that new version of the truth, bend itself away from the original supreme truth, then the mind divorces with the spirit. And that mind, truly speaking, becomes weak. It might be, it might be skillful, it might be talented, but truly speaking, it is weak. It doesn't have spiritual power. So the first thing that leader must strive for is acquisition of honesty. A acquire enough courage to be honest, to be true to your own self, to others, and be sincere. Like I have some people, uh, my friends and those people who are sincere, I love them and I'm ready to go with them anywhere. <laughs> I'm ready to go to hell and to heaven, doesn't matter, but because of this sincerity. Another thing which is very important for a leader is the vision. Leader is always a visionary. You go to a very, very tall tree and from that tree, you look and then you see the way, you see the path, we are going there. <laughs> you tell everybody, we are going there. And then other people, they don't see, but they say, okay, we trust you, let's go. So how to acquire this uh, capacity to be a visionary? That is all connected with your ability to feel yourself. If you can touch your inner self, if you can touch your, the core of your being, your I feeling, your existential I, uh, you will be able to activate the intuition and you will be able to see the future. You see the future, you see something that other people don't see. And then on top of that, you, have, you should have erudition, the uh, you know, multifaceted knowledge, 
you you are you are aware of many things that go in in humanity in society you are not you, you do not exist in the vacuum you have read a lot you have uh, you you are aware of all the situation in economics in science in politics everywhere so this plus intuition enables you to create a vision and then articulate that vision to others so they become inspired you have to draw a picture a beautiful picture and then people yeah we want that and let's go there if you want that let's go there so this is very important leader must be a visionary must be a visionary another thing is courage uh, it is my experience that once you attempt to introduce something new something daring then people actually discourage you they say oh you have lost touch with reality you this is impossible this is not going to work so everybody most of the people they will talk like this so and then you have the vision you have this feeling your intuition gives you a glimpse then intellect process it and then tells you yes actually it can work but now you need your heart to say we are going to do it so intuition intellect and heart courage then you make a bold step let's go burn the bridges we are not coming back this is our new home we are going to build it there is no more i have left the past i am turning the page of the past and i'm opening a new page of the future so that is a very admirable quality when the people when you can lead with your intuition with your intellect and with your heart with your courage so it requires overcoming fears there are so many fears uh, and trusting yourself trusting yourself needless to say all these qualities of the leaders they are really developed and affected by meditation another quality is empathy also you can develop to a certain extent with meditation empathy is ability to feel what other people feel what other people are going through if you feel it and you can sympathize you can empathize then people appreciate it also and they can follow you like uh, i had a friend you know the, at the time when i was in a strict training in a monastery so there was a period that i got really fed up with all the schedules you know all the collective programs you have to do four times meditation a day and you have to go like minute by minute you're just like a machine you're working like a machine and i'm so fed up with this i don't want to do it at all <laughs> so then i complained to my friend and i say you know dada i feel like this like this i hate these programs that <laughs> and then he would listen and yeah i understand yeah i also feel the same so he will sympathize but then he wouldn't support my rebellion he would say but how you feel you came here to upgrade yourself to to go on the next level do you think it is possible to achieve without following through all these things uh, no actually not he said so let us follow let us go through it but I felt understood. He listens, he understands, he sympathizes with me, he has compassion on me, and he doesn't judge me, doesn't uh, shame me or things like that. He feels like, I feel he's my brother. Till now we have such a good friendship with him. So this is very, very important also. Uh, develop the empathic ability to listen, to understand, to share the feelings with each other it's also very important for the leaders uh, <clears throat> another thing is humility humility 
leaders must recognize that my view, maybe it's well informed, maybe it is far sighted, but still limited. So I welcome opinions which differ from my opinion. I welcome it, I take them seriously, and I respect other human beings. I don't try to be boss, I want to be leader. And leader means I am one of you, I am same as you. So for that, one must have humility. That's very important also, quality for the leadership. And hu humble leaders, they are being admired also by others. Another trait, also extremely important. You can be a leader for one year, two years, three years, but if you want to be a leader for 10 years, 15 years, or 25 years, then you must have a resiliency. Resiliency is ability to hold the punch, take the punch. Bah! <laughs> you know, life is like this. The life will come and really try to knock you down. And just like in a box, you know, you're, you're lying down there and uh, there is a countdown going on. One, two, three, and you're just like, ah, four, <laughs> five. So you have to decide whether you remain lying down or you're going to stand up. Even though you feel extremely bad now. At this moment, you don't want anything of that. You don't want to fight to continue. The, 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 the most that you want in your life is just all the suffering stops. But then you have to decide you are going to continue fighting or you are going to give up. So this resiliency to bring yourself back together, to find an inspiration, to overcome. You know, we have the six enemies, anger, to overcome your anger. To overcome your hurt feelings, to overcome your pride, to overcome your jealousy and things like that. And elevate your mind into the clarity, into the sanity, <laughs> into sentience, into intelligence. Elevate your mind. So this is very, very important. Again, meditation is the best thing for the resiliency. So sometimes I go through these punches of life and then I sit, I meditate, but truly speaking, I am not meditating, but I am thinking of the situation, thinking of the situation. But then I say, come on, stop, now meditate, now use whatever capacity you have in yourself to elevate your mind. And I struggle, the mind just goes there and I employ, I employ different techniques. Like I, I count, for example, in my mind, one, two, three, four, five. And I know until I count until 15 seconds. In these 15 seconds, I must achieve concentration. In 15 seconds, I must achieve a certain, you know, portion of the technique. So there is a limited period. So in that way, I'm tearing myself away from that object that have captured my mind. So, and once I have done through that meditation in half an hour or one hour or sometimes even two hours of intense inner struggle, intense struggle, the mind goes to all these pains and all these, you know, uh, setbacks and uh, yeah, debacles that you, you, you got. Uh, but uh, you take your mind out of there and elevate it above and then you just suddenly, you're emotionally, you're okay. And your mind become clear and you can move ahead. So sometimes you can do in one day, sometimes you cannot do in one day, in three days, in four days. But you have to uh, resurrect yourself. This is a very, very important ability. If you have not, then you have failed your team, the people who, who are following you. So this is a special responsibility of the leader to be resilient and how you cope with stress and all these things, asanas and fasting. Sometimes fasting really makes me, improves my resiliency. If uh, my emotions are bitter or something like this, if I'm going through some difficult period, then I fast and then I'm okay. <laughs> After fasting, I'm fine. Another thing important to learn for, for a leader is the communication. Communication is just 
is the key for everything. Uh, without communication, the leadership can be only dictatorial. I tell you, you do it. But when there is a communication, when I can copy my mind into your mind and your mind into my mind, I don't have to order because you know the same thing what I know. So you do the same thing that I would do. So this communication is very important. Develop the skill of communication. Discuss before decide. Um, and also develop the clarity how you transmit your ideas. You can do like take one paragraph of a spiritual book. That's two in one, two benefits in one. Read, every day read, and then try to express it with the most clarity that you are capable of. Every day. You try it like that. It will take you 15 minutes. But if you do it for years, one year, two years, your mind, your thoughts will become so clear. So if you can explain a very simple, a very, you know, high concept in such a simple words that even the baby will understand, then you have achieved that ability to communicate. And that's also very important for the leaders. Another thing is accountability. Accountability is that you are responsible. You take responsibility for your actions. As a leader, you're responsible and you're demanding from your team members the same. If you don't take responsibility, when the power gets separated from responsibility, when the power gets separated from accountability, then it is the disaster. So the power has to always go together with accountability and responsibility. So that is also very important. And then the final two is inspirational ability and decisiveness. Decisiveness you, is connected with courage. So after long deliberation, finally you decide, okay, we do this. No more thinking we have I have decided now do or die situation. I thought about it long time. I have weighed all the possibilities, but now once I have decided, then bridges are burned. I'm going ahead. So this is very important also ability. Even sometimes I see in the one time one girl which is was like 18 years old really impressed me still young, still maturing, but uh, we were organizing some event and then uh, we were walking and then discussing different, like something may go wrong and this and that. She said, Dada, we are going to do it and we are going to do everything that is going to be, that it will be successful. I felt like, wow, very deep respect for that uh, young person. I felt like, yes, she's going to be a great personality in the future. So this decisiveness is important. Once decided, then there is no turning back. Of course, you can, uh, cor uh, how to say, um, you can correct your trajectory. Sometimes it is needed, but you're not going back. You're going forward. You're going forward like this or like this, but not backward, forward. So decisiveness is very important. And then, uh, finally, inspirational ability. Inspirational ability, it's like in the movies, you know, the, the king before the, the battle, he goes, touches the swords of all the warriors. Today, there will be <laughs> a great battle. We will write history today and like that. Inspirational ability is many things. One thing is connectedness with yourself, your intuition, your vision your force of your heart, your courage, um, knowing what people want, and then ability to draw a proper picture. So everybody become inspired. And the, the most important that you yourself, you're just feeling the juice of inspiration is flowing through you. I don't know even how to, how to generate artificially that inspiration is somehow to me, it is all connected with spirituality. It is all connected with the state of the mind. Once you go above 
ordinary state of the mind and you enter into the state of the flow, always a proper words, always proper thoughts come into your mind. And other people, they can be inspired up to even the tears are coming and they feel like, yes. <laughs> so this is also very important ability of the leader. So all of these things, the best way to cultivate them is to do spiritual practice, really. So if you do spiritual practice, you are going to benefit yourself and you are going to benefit the world. Because the main thing in the world of today, there is everything. There is technology, there is knowledge, there are resources, it is, we have a beautiful planet. What is lacking? The leadership is lacking. Good leadership, ideal leadership, that is lacking. And also what is lacking is love. There is not enough love. <laughs> so if we can bring inspiration and love and proper leadership to the world, this is the most precious resource that we need today. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, come sometimes for our programs, for our retreats. Please learn meditation, practice. See you sometimes. And write also in comments. Uh, maybe I missed something. This is I am analyzing some of my experiences. Maybe you have some more important qualities that needs to be developed. I want to learn from you. So write in the comments what in your what what is in your opinion is important to be a good leader and what kind of leaders we want on top of our society. Namaskar.